Timing is everything. Let me give you an example. January 24th, 1848, this man, James Marshall, was standing by the American River in the Sierra Nevadas of California when he found something. He waded out of the water with his hat full of shiny metal and he turned to his compatriots and he said, boys, I believe I found a gold mine. 1,000 miles to the south, one day later, January 25th, 1848, America's emissary to Mexico, Nicholas Trist, inked the final draft of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Trist had been sent on America's behalf to try to broker a treaty at the end of the war and to get as much land as possible from Mexico. President James K. Polk got word of Trist's negotiations and the treaty that he'd brokered ending the Mexican-American War. He was both happy and sad. He was happy that America had nearly doubled its territory and taken away 55% of Mexico's territory, but he was sad because he wanted America's border to go all the way down to Tampico, Mexico, like we can see in this upper map. In the end, he dismissed Trist in anger, even though the treaty was ratified later that summer. So just to recap, here are three things that happened practically overnight in 1848. The California Gold Rush started. The very next day, the terms of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo locked in the final puzzle piece of America's lower 48 states that we recognize from the map today. And finally, and perhaps most significantly, overnight, 60,000 Mexican citizens had the American border cross them. And when they woke up in the morning, they were no longer Mexicans but now American. That 24 hour period in late January, 1848 was one of the most significant in American history, even though most folks might not know about it. Till next time, Dr. Tim out.